Hello, and in this screencast for Apache ISIS, I want to show you how the code we have in our IDE relates back to the running application. So the various sub-modules we have, the most important or the one to look at first is the DOM module, Domain Object Model, that's where our um, business logic lives. And um, if we go looking for the simple object, this is the object that is um, rendered to us in the application as we can see here. And so we can see that uh, this application, this uh, this object rather, has a, a name property, a get name and a set name, and it has a delete action. And we can see that's here. Uh, so because this is a modifiable object, I have an edit button, and I can use the edit button to change the name. And um, that's basically that. Um, now there's also a validate action, so you can see I've got a silly little rule here that no exclamation marks are allowed. If this method returns a non-null string, um, then um, we will veto the change. So we can just test that, put some exclamation marks in there, and you can see that's the error message coming back. Um, you might also have noticed that, of course, we've got another tab here, so there's some additional information, um, some metadata, and um, that stuff isn't actually defined in here, that's being contributed by the framework itself, um, the ID and the uh, the, the timestamp. Um, in addition, there are some actions here as well, which are also um, contributed by the framework. Uh, but we have got an action called delete, and I can click on that and I can uh, confirm to do the delete, and that is this code here. You can see there's an annotation which is semantics, are you sure? That's why we're getting this prompt here. And if I choose to hit OK, we're going to go to an injected repository service, which is going to then remove, which is to say delete the object. So we'll just confirm that. And then uh, that object foo has been deleted. Um, so that kind of shows you the simple object. What about this that we're looking at here? Well, this is um, the home page object. So that lives in a slightly different location is in the application layer so this is the home page uh, view model in fact there is no underlying domain entity here this is basically created on the fly and you can see that we have a title which is basically this and then it has a collection of objects and it's just basically invoking um, the list all method of the of this injected simple objects uh, service which is why we get two rows. Now that simple object service is actually the same thing as we have registered here. So if I do list all, we can see those those same two objects. So looking at simple objects, this is basically um, the way in which we define menus, annotating the uh, service to say its um, nature of view, meaning it should be visible in the user interface, um, and uh, it has some actions so it has list, find all, and create, which are the ones that we see here. Okay, so there we go. That's a very brief outline about um, three of the main uh, entities that we have, or objects that we have. We have the view model, we have uh, the entity, the simple object entity, and we also have a corresponding simple objects repository. Hope that made sense. Uh, give it a go. Try it out.